hello everybody welcome back to my channel i don't even know i feel like every single video i watch has the exact same generic opening but i don't even know what to say to make it original but whatever hello welcome back thank you for joining me for another video um today's vlog video whatever is a bit of a combo of a grocery haul and a what i eat in a day and some cooking and some general musings and that's about it but yeah um i hope you enjoy it Oh, oh, and just a check-in, a weight check-in, a weigh-in check-in, a weight loss check-in. I don't know. But I hope you enjoy. And if you do, thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment, turn the notifications bell, all that stuff. That's it. See you in there. Okay. So what have we got here? Blueberries. Because Emma really likes them. And I can have zero points. They're zero points, so I can have as many as I like. But I don't actually like blueberries. I find the outside really weird. I got two punnets of strawberries because they're on special for $2.50 a punnet. They are stupidly large, so I don't know if I can open it properly, but like, what on earth? There's only six in the whole punnet. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. And then I've got a couple of sweet potatoes, just for whatever. Bananas, I've been eating those most breakfasts. Potatoes, you know the drill. All this is zero points, so beans, broccoli, heap of spinach. I love spinach. I eat a whole bag of this every week. A uh, bag of carrots, pumpkin, that's mostly the fruit and vegetables sorted for this week. Then I also bought a dozen eggs because they're also zero points. Brown sugar is only one point for a teaspoon, no, for two teaspoons, whereas the white sugar and the raw sugar is one point for one teaspoon. So I bought brown sugar just in case I want to sweeten anything that I'm making. The tiny teddies are for Dylan and Emmett. And a whole wheat pasta. No, that's sorry, that's a regular pasta. Um, I've got whole wheat pasta there. That is for Dylan and Emmett. I bought this to try. I'm just going to keep it in the cupboard um, if I want to have a couple of squares here and there. It's a bit of a treat. Uh, marbles for Dylan. Um, scotch fingers, same deal. I don't know how many points in them. I'm dreading to look, but I thought if I want to use my weeklies on one or two of these, they're my all-time favorite biscuit. Chocolate scotch fingers are amazing. For a zero-point snack, I saw that someone just bought the popping corn. We don't actually have a lot of availability of popcorn in Australia compared to probably what you have in the States and other parts of the world. So I bought this and then I also bought some brown paper bags and then apparently you can just like pop it in the microwave and just do a little bit of spray oil and some salt and popping corn done. So I was like, okay, that will be fun. Emma will enjoy doing that. He can listen out for it. Posada, again, I use a lot of that and it's zero points. I think it's always zero points, but I'm gonna double check. Brown basmati, um, because I just feel like I didn't have enough of my zero points foods this week and I feel like I haven't had a perfect week. Um, but as I said in my previous video, I'm gonna give myself a fair bit of grace because I'm still only three weeks postpartum. Uh, minced garlic just out of that pepper out of that um a couple of tins of tuna just for a zero point i really like this serena tuna it's expensive this is spring water and lemon but um yeah it's only got a lemon and salt and spring water and stuff so yeah three of these yogurts for dylan or emmett they both like them i bought i didn't realize i bought six i thought i only bought five but apparently i bought six jabani fits they are on special for a dollar 75 so half price so I bought the two uh, vanilla cookie crunch, the mint choc crunch, and the banana peanut crunch. I think they're three or four smart points, maybe four. I can make my own, but they're just never as like, I mean, not that they're not as good, but they normally come at about five points. So these are just a bit lower and easy to grab while I'm feeding. Cat food, tissues, boring. Uh, I also bought some 99% fat free, or 90, whatever it is the lowest fat I could find. Um, Chobani, I think that's zero points, but I'm gonna have to double check. I bought these because these are one point each. So I thought this would be a nice treat. I'm really, really struggling at dinner and after dinner. I'm really good for the whole day. And then I just feel like I just collapse in at dinner and just want sweet stuff. And yeah, I think it's probably because I'm tired, but yeah, it's annoying. Cashew milk. I bought this at Aldi. This is a Coles haul, but I bought this at Aldi a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was really good and I really liked it. And it doesn't have a strong flavor like other milks. So if you're looking for like a non-dairy milk that's not super strong in flavor, the cashew is really good and it's only one for 250 mils. I ran out of that as you would have seen too. The sugar-free maple flavored syrup. So I bought that. So it goes with some things. Dylan has been requesting cordial for like years and I always forget. So I bought it this time around. Um, I bought some olive oil spray. People, I think that's just, I don't know how many points, but I know it's like lower points obviously than real oil. Um, I bought the extra light dairy slices. I really like these with like vita and stuff. 
and I'm going to make that couscous salad again. That was really good. So I bought some um, chicken to have that with, some ham for the boys for toasted sandwiches, big tasty cheese. I bought this for myself. I don't know when I'm going to have it, but it sounded amazing. And I just thought, yeah, this will be worth my weeklies. Um, I bought some pretzels. I've been watching heaps of American um, what I eat in a day and they were eating lots of pretzels and I thought these might be good for a low point snack. So I've got to calculate the points and figure that out. Doritos, Dylan, and Maxi Bonds, Dylan. I got Halo Tops. These I think are three smart points for one, I'm pretty sure. Only 80 calories, pretty low, which is good. Also for three points, I have, <laughs> this, is a, this is so a purchase because I saw like Americans eating it. I'm probably gonna hate it because I don't really eat that much processed food. And I find this cheese is kind of like real salty. Like look at the ingredients, let's not look at the ingredients. Anyway, it's three three smart points for 40 grams. So that's about two like leveled tablespoons. I don't even know what I'm going to have. I literally don't know what I'm doing with this. I might even have it with my pretzels, I think, and go like full American snack. And rounding out the haul, some special K. So that is the grocery shop for this week. It was pretty expensive. It's probably a bit over $200, I think. But that is because there are some treats in there for everybody. I will not have to buy like a lot of this stuff in the following grocery shop. So I tend to find I have like a cheap grocery haul and then a more expensive one. Obviously, I'll need more fresh fruit and vegetables. But some of this stuff will definitely last longer. This is definitely not a normal type of haul for me. But yes, that's what we got. So I don't know about everybody else, but sometimes you just kind of want to eat chicken and fries or like chicken tenders. Um, anyway, so I'm mixing up some egg. Emmett's trying to help me. Oh, all right. You can go on the egg mix. Fine. That's fine. What else do we need? A little bit of this. Um, so basically, I am going to have a go at making breaded chicken. Whoa. Or crumb chicken, depending on where you live. Okay, that's enough. Um, from using couscous as crumbs, which I was going to put all these herbs and spices in, but Emmett's insisting that they go in the eggs instead. So um, everything here is zero points. So this is going to be an attempt at a zero point chicken and chips or chicken and fries. Yeah. Um, yes, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to just be showing you bleh, a whole host of what I eat the day type stuff. Um, and I'm going to try and have as many like low or zero point foods as possible to save room for my dinner, which is going to be a bacon and pumpkin risotto um, from HelloFresh. So I don't exactly know how many points that is, but it's going to be too many if I eat the way I would normally eat during the day. I just cut on my hand. It really hurt. A really sharp knife and just went whoosh when I was cutting avocado. And my husband's like, why don't you just like put the avocado down? I was holding it. And anyway, clearly need to improve my last um, my life skills. Maybe those two, but my knife skills. Um, but my husband doesn't cook at all, so I'm like, you can't pass any judgment because you know if we're gonna have a kitchen injury if you're never in the kitchen. So as you can hear, I'm popping popcorn. I've just prepped um, my lunch for breakfast. I didn't film it. I'm really sorry. I had um, banana blueberry oat pancakes. They were zero points. If you want the recipe, I will link it in the comment. Not link. I made it myself. I will put it in the com If you if you leave a comment, I will um, pop the recipe into the comments. Uh, it's pretty easy and it was really good. So I am going to have a coffee in a moment. That is a one point treat. I will show you what that is. Um, if you've seen the grocery haul in this video as well, you'll know that um, I bought this Avalanche brand, but I haven't tried them before. So I'm gonna try it and let you know what I think. I thought about making it into like an iced coffee, so I might do that. 
might actually be two points if I do that though because I think I'll have a cup of almond milk but I've had no points today so far so this is the brand that I'm using it's called Avalanche we don't have a lot of sugar-free options in Australia like compared to the states and probably like the UK and other parts of Europe we just don't do a lot of sugar-free stuff which is okay because I'm like I don't love the artificial sweetness um this has got natural sweeteners in it so this is funny it says it's all about balance with a soulful harmony of laid-back caramel and rich milky coffee what is a soulful harmony of laid-back caramel anyway whatever so i just got my puppy cup here i love this mug it's called a hug mug it's from robert gordon pottery if you're australian watching this i don't even know where are you from if you're watching this can you please leave me a comment and let me know whereabouts you are from i would love to know and are you doing weight watches or are you just like trying to eat healthy how did you find me um it smells good so that's a promising sign my popcorn takes three minutes in my microwave but i have a really low powered microwave so I'm gonna put the hot water in here in a cup with ice and the cashew milk. I'm gonna throw that around and hopefully it'll taste delicious. I don't think I've talked about this, but this is like an accidental discovery. So I generally drink cow's milk. I'm not dairy free. I'm not vegan, not vego. Um, but I saw this at Aldi and thought, mm, give it a try because I'm all for cutting out dairy and things where I can. Anyway, so this just coincidentally I bought before I started WW and now I'm um, loving that because it is only one point for one cup compared to three points for skim milk. So this is my new best friend and a third of a cup or less is zero points. So if you're looking for a really good like low point altern alternative, I highly recommend this cashew milk because unlike almond milk or soy or anything, it doesn't have a strong flavor, which I certainly prefer when I'm having it in certain types of particularly drinks. Um, unless it's a smoothie because I just don't like the taste of the almond milk in my tea. Like I just would rather drink black tea. Um, so I'm going to mix a cup of that in with the ice. I'm going to heap of ice. Um, and yeah. Tastes reasonably good. It's not super sweet, so if you really like a sweet coffee, I would highly recommend putting in like a sweetener or something. Um, can be out of here, but the tenders have turned out really good. The fries are nice and crispy, or the chips, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna plate up now. A six point lunch. I'm impressed with this as a six point lunch on purple. It's really generous. It's gonna fill me up for sure. I'm actually just trying one of the tenders now. And even if you wanted to, you could totally make this a zero point salad with this fries on the side, like a chicken, like a Southwesty kind of chicken salad with the fries or chips on the side. But yeah, I'm stoked with this. I'm definitely gonna make this again. So I've had a shower. That's why my hair's still up. I haven't taken it down. Oh my God, my nose is running because of the chili sauce, but this is good. I don't wanna call these like chicken tacos or something. And for six points, I'm all about it. So that lunch is really good and it was definitely worth adding the tortillas in my opinion um, for the points. But if you don't have as many points as I do, then of course you could have it in a salad. It would be really good if you added other salad ingredients like cucumber, tomato, carrot, any of your zero points veg. And I will definitely working that again. And Emmett approves of the chicken tenders. I cut them into pieces for him and call them nuggets. And he approves of those. He didn't like my fries though, probably because they're not as crispy, of course, as regular chips and they don't have any real oil on them. But that was tasty. I'm still like enjoying the flavors that were there. So I highly recommend. So I have a little afternoon snack. I think I've got a little bit too much nacho cheese. So I'll just count it for an extra point. And I got 14 pretzels and some nacho cheese dip Doritos brand. That I've warmed up. I'm gonna dip the pretzels in for four or five point snack. I have lots of points today, so I can enjoy these little things. I'm definitely gonna try and have lower points breakfast so I've got more points left for the rest of the day because I think that's really helping with me stay on plan today. I can't get into frame properly. I don't know. It's too hard. It doesn't work on my bench. But anyway, I am making a bacon and butternut risotto with sage and walnuts. I'm probably going to skip the walnuts in mine. I know they're going to add too many points. I don't think it's going to be worth it. I do have the points to spare, but I would rather them like have some more popcorn or like a piece of chocolate or something more exciting than some nuts. I normally eat a lot of nuts um, when I'm not following this particular plan, but because I'm allowed to obviously eat other foods, 
um, I have to compromise somewhere. So it looks pretty good. If you haven't tried HelloFresh before, super convenient, a little pricey, um, but we like it. Um, convenient and just means that I've got meals available and I don't have to think too much. And worst case, and I say worst case because he absolutely hates it, husband can cook. So um, this has peeled and chopped pumpkin, so no points. Chili flakes, no points. Brown onion, no points. Sage, no points. Garlic, no points. Bacon. Um, it's actually rindless bacon. I've counted two points for this, but I think it's only going to be about one. There's only three slices for the whole meal, and I normally do like a half serve for me, um, a quarter, a half, full and a quarter serve for Dylan, and then a quarter serve for Emmett, if that makes sense. So um, my half serve gets divided between Dylan, who gets more, and Emmett, who gets some of mine as well. Um, it also has aborio rice, so half a cup of cooked aborio rice is three points on my plan, so... I'm gonna have half and see how that looks. If I feel like I want more, I might just have another quarter cup and go for around five points. Um, chicken stock, I think the one cube will count as no points across the whole meal. Walnuts, which I will not include, I don't think. Lemon, no points. Pear, no points. Baby spinach leaves, no points. Grated Parmesan cheese. Um, oh, there's only two 30 gram packs and I counted 30 grams for myself. So actually probably can get rid of one point. So there's probably only be two points. So this whole meal is actually probably only gonna be about six points. So that's actually pretty good. That's way better than I thought. Um, so I might actually have a bit more rice. So I might make up the bacon and cheese points in another little bit of rice. got a ham and cheese pocket for three points I've got um, enough ham that it counts as zero points and um, one slice of the one point cheese and a two point tortilla I'm gonna eat this and hope it tides me over till dinner time um, definitely have the points today so I'm like well I may as well have my snack um, and I've still already put the points in for dinner um, I mentioned that the parmesan cheese that there was more of it than I thought and so I get a point back and a point back from the bacon and then I also just upped my rice, so I just have to add in three points for this and one more point for my risotto. And then I think I've still got four points left and I've also got already put an ice cream in for after dinner. So, yay. So, and this is the finished risotto, all dished up. Um, obviously that's more than a cup, but that is because obviously it has other stuff in it. It's not much more than a cup probably though. And yeah, Dylan's got a really big bowl. I can't really do size reference there and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have for dessert and then I'm gonna check out because I'm tired that's dessert and uh, I'm gonna check out I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did thumbs up subscribe comment all that stuff and I'll speak to you guys soon thanks for watching oh wait I forgot to say I lost a kilogram this week 2.2 pounds my first week and I wasn't perfect so I'm gonna take that as a victory <laughs>